So without uh, more ado, can I uh, ask Sir Ken to, uh, uh, to open us up? Well, it's good to be here, and may I say hello, Lord Mayor, Lady Mayoress, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for asking me here today on such an auspicious occasion. It's a privilege to be present when another chapter is opened on the story of the progress of Bradford Management School to a worldwide recognised institution. This brings distinction to the city and further enhances the reputation of Bradford University. The wool trade totally dominated Bradford in my youth and it's no surprise to hear the background to the development of these wonderful facilities owes much to the strong connection with the original industry. And today we see before us what can be achieved. I congratulate the management centre on the continual progress which is being made and wish them further success in the future. Nowhere is the fighting spirit of the city better illustrated than here today. I'm now to confess that my qualifications for carrying out my pleasant task today are somewhat limited. I had no formal education in a university, but in the 1960s, I did have the benefit of a short course of evening classes at this very management center. What they served up was potent stuff, I can tell you. <laughs> a belated thank you to you all for the wisdom you installed in me. I know that Morrison still made good use of, their sk of your skills and your guidance. I wish to congratulate the numerous per people who have had the vision and the courage to develop these outstanding facilities. I wish to compliment Arthur on the timing of his retirement Having worked so hard to be able to hand over such a legacy to his successor is to be commended. Arthur, I hope you have a long, happy and healthy retirement. I feel on behalf of all your friends and everyone present today. It's now my pleasure to officially open these splendid new premises. Thank you. on how brilliant it is it's um, with the whole atrium it's nice it's a nice place for everyone to get together and meet for example if we've got group work to do there's a bunch of us together doing our work we can have a cup of coffee at the same time and a sandwich so it kind of blends in the particular challenges of dealing with a listed building in a project like this are twofold one is what you actually do to the building itself which is obviously uh, restricted by planning regulations. So anything you do to the listed building, you have to get heritage permission for through the planners. So you've got to be very sympathetic with what you do to it. One of the uh, main items within, within the build is the staircase that connects the atrium to all levels, from the debating chamber to the cafeteria area and up into the postgrad and undergrad offices. This was a technical challenge for us as it's a fully suspended concrete staircase so when you're in the building you get actually a feature of it as a floating staircase. I think it's absolutely gorgeous I think the mix of the old Victorian Gothic buildings and the new modern very sustainable building creates a fantastic space for staff and students to work in. The building has achieved a, a Brian excellent rating and it's the first Brian excellent that the University of Bradford has achieved. So the team have had to work very hard to make sure that the, the design, the materials used, etc., have been uh, sustainable. We used over 80% of material from the original Seasons building that was demolished in hardcore, and then the rest of that material was also recycled in the building trade. 
and we achieved over 88% recycling of all materials used. Well, I think one word would say it, and that for me is wow, you know, what a fantastic place to learn, what a fantastic place to socialise, the library which is available, all the facilities. I think for students it's just such a wonderful environment, and of course for staff as well. So it's, it's a nice, sociable area, nice and light an area, and very modern as well, combined with the old building and the new. It's very successful, I think, in its design.